This tutorial is going to show you how to take the background off of an image. First, I'm going to search for an image of John Locke. I'm going to go over to Tools and go to Size and pick Large Images. I want a nice large image with good quality. So I'm going to look around and find one that I want to use for this little practice activity and select the one that I think will be the best and will look nice. So I'm going to select this image and right click on it and I'm going to copy the image address and then I'm going to get over to Pixlr and I'm going to open up the advanced photo editor. I'm going to click on load URL and I'm going to paste the image of John Locke's address here. That'll put it right here in my editor. I'm going to go over and click on the lasso tool and I'm going to begin to remove his background by zooming in a little bit and tracing around his body. You can zoom in by pressing Control plus and I'm just going to click and drag my cursor around his shoulder. And then when I get to a good point, I'm going to loop back around, connect that lasso together until I get the little marching dots. And then I'm going to press delete. That's going to delete the background or delete the space that's inside of that lasso. Once I delete that, I'm just going to continue to do exactly what I just did. I'm going to just trace around his body and I'm going to work in small chunks so that I, if I make a mistake, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. So I'm just going to continue to move up and just trace around as best I can and start removing those chunks. Now once I've got John Locke sort of traced around, I just need to remove the background, which I can do in pretty big chunks. I can go zoom out and actually go off of the image. And then I'm just going to trace around him again and then do really big loops around the background pieces. And once I've got all that background removed, I'm just going to go up to the crop tool and I'm just going to crop the image a little bit, make him just a little bit square and move him around. After I've got it cropped, press enter. Then I'm going to go up to File, and then I'm going to save this image. Notice it's already a PNG, and I'm going to download that right to my laptop. And there you go. You've got an image with the background removed.